Now, um, bro, I can't with Chavo, bro. <laughs> he just wants bro, to bro, make it scoring, in. Bro. He ain't hitting them threes, though. Can you scream that. Chavo hit a three? No, they pause it. Nah. <laughs> but um, one of the things that is going to be looming over Chavo is not only did he not beat Paradox earlier, but he lost 3-0. Now, will that matter? <laughs> going into this, we'll find out. He did have a really good game against Bands. And I was... To be honest, assuming that he might lose the bands going into that because of that history against Gopal, he might not have been prepared. But he got the dub, he shut it down, and now Chavo, after winning that 3 2 set, is warmed up. But Paradox is playing out of his mind. Out of his mind right now. We're going to find out uh, if he can do something about it. If he can get that elusive W that has been Batman shutting him down from getting a multiverse mayhem. This is a whole nother Batman. I don't know what the hell y'all been giving about so I'm much not over here. By the way, grand finals. Chavo Where's on my the predictions? It, that happened a while ago. Oh. You weren't paying attention. I'm sorry. That's on you. Uh, but uh, Paradox, of course, like you said, he's been playing phenomenally today. Uh, very different play style compared to Zoo, but uh, he is definitely utilizing Sir 2 very well. Uh, and his defensive passive play, where he waits for your defensive options first, has been really good versus Zoo's extremely overwhelming presence that he has on screen. I feel like one thing all Batmans do as a good advantage for them is the upbeats. The upbeats are so good, especially when you jump all the way out there just to hit it, and it works out in their favor 100%. Yeah, up special, of course, being all the, the be best, like, aerial chase tool. Uh, the biggest thing, of course, is that if we remember watching back to Gopo versus Zoo, he was able to not only beat Sir 2 well, but he also kind of just kept outpacing the air-to-air -air game to Zoo. Chavo's got to have to find a way to s replicate that success. He's going to need to find a way to, like, time his up attacks well and beat out these approaches that Paradox has in on the aerial approach. And he's starting to build that damage mm. up a lot right now. You seen that charged second Sair? He let it rip with that whole charged second Sair. Yep. Sair, a, yep. Yeah, Sair 2 into, uh, not even, that one was even a roll, but roll, uppercut, or uppercut is a true combo. Tried to push him into the... I like that. He tried to push him into the smoke so he could get the weakness stacks from the smoke over on the other side and slow him down when he got him in there. Uh, I, that's... I don't even comprehend anything. You know what I am right now? I, I'm not... I don't even want to hear it. Why? Because <laughs> you're going to say flabbergasted. But, like, you almost got... You almost, almost got clap the right there. Of course, with Batman, you don't even need the fully charged version of that. Uh, it, Batman weighs nothing. So, a good defense from uh, Paradox, though. He refuses to get hit on the ledge. Like, that's... But the up air will oh, finally take it. it. Goes. I thought he was going to be able to get back. But see... Ooh, you got to get out that smoke. Yeah. yeah sometimes Shovel doesn't care about fighting in it, but uh, don't do that against Paradox. That's, but you, you got put into extra weakness stacks for doing that. Uh, and he... Oh, my God. His advantage is so good. He literally doesn't let people he always builds a stock up like he's always playing with a full stock up yeah but i like how paradox uses his batterings like he'll face the opposite way throw his battering and come chase you because it'll come back around and hit him but ooh, that up he's gonna take it yeah he was too high in disguise even with mm -hmm. the tactic that it'll still take him pushes him right in there and now once again he's up two uh, he's up a full stock he's forcing everybody to play from behind pretty much all day that is true that is true i wonder if Oh, there it goes, right there. I, I was going to wonder if he was going to connect, like, a Bat Bomb to Battering. Because I want to see some conversion off of that. I know he's been doing good with those. Ooh, nice little fast fall dodge yeah, from the his, gem. His defense has been really good. Oh, he caught the dodge in. Is he, He's still good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, he still he's had chilling. a jump. He still had a jump for Glide. And then there again, his defense off the ledge has just been phenomenal. He won't get he won't get down attack. He won't get hit by neutral attack. So uh, Chavo has to find a way to somehow bait him to go on stage first and then punish the dodge in after. But usually has a Batarang backed up with it too. So he has to find a way to get up and over him and mix him up. That surprisingly didn't knock out by itself but that will do <gasps> wow. it. Wow. Very, very un... Like, you could not see that coming at all, bro. Like, I didn't see that he coming. He, like, he glided almost off the stage, like, with that last second down here. But, uh, he can still very much do this. Chavo's been playing from behind essentially, like, all tournament <laughs> against people. Up airs, he gets him with the last one, but he cannot touch the ground in this... Yeah. He put on 82, essentially. He broke the gem with his Sayer. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah, if you you, you can hit it mid flight. Same thing as like uh, uh like with uh, projectiles and such. Hmm. But the, the the problem is trying to do that. <laughs> you just you get hit yeah, first. Yeah, exactly. 
Oh, bat bomb is bat on. Bomb. Last is he gonna, oh, he tried to read it by that going high. That was good because remember last time when he tried to go for that when he was bringing it all the way back against Paradox in game three? Uh, he lost the game for it. Oh, he might steal the game right here. Oh he does. Oh, my God. Look at his eyes. Yo, Chavo's eyes. Shout out to Gopo, bro, because like that's exactly how Gopo uh, beat Zoo, essentially, mm. uh, after game three. Three when uh actually game two when Zoo won that first game last time and then he just never relinquished it afterwards. But Chavo has this time already put a game on the board. Very good from Chavo. You know the little ladder climbs all the way up. At the it's top. funny too because literally at the end, uh, Paradox just 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 like like a after he got he was like. Okay, yeah, that, that, bro, was, nice. that was nice. Like, <laughs> exactly, bro. Like you just it's like, all right, bro. <laughs> but he about to come back hard. Like he's going to feed. Well, that, I can see it. One good thing is that Chavo was smiling and laughing a ton there. Because usually when things when like when Batman kinda goes off, it can it can be hard to rebound from mentally because you're trying to find a way to like slow him down. Yeah. And obviously the win the, the win record being in favor of Zoo, like it, you just start to like almost feel mentally defeated when you've lose you lost to a character as many times as you had, right? Exactly. Exactly, bro. But that one was a good W, and he brought it, it, it. That was from him once again making a comeback. Mm -hmm. That's how I'd be feeling with the Finn matchup against me. How many coins did he have? He might not even need it a ton. That's Batman, bro. <laughs> Batman don't weigh anything. He was in the blast zone. He was up there. Up I think you needed too. 300 tops, uh, maybe less, to, to get that knockout. I'm but, betting 100. You know what I'd like to see him do? Uh, what would you like to Gopo see? Gopo uses jab one. In and then it, dare, and right? Then he'll do dare yeah. or sare because it creates a ground bounce. But I tried that in game. It's it's difficult. It's, it's to hard off. to do. Yeah. Like that, like, we gotta make that clear. Gopo has ridiculously good like combo game. Uh, yeah, I don't like, know. Like that, it's not easy to pull off consistently. Ooh. But um, is he gonna? No, you had to back off. You, it, yeah. was, it wasn't worth trying to chase there because if he got up above you and you go into a trade war again, sometimes it's not worth it. But the upper one into uppercut is actually going to be enough. I'm kind of surprised that one knocked out. That, that one, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna chalk that one up to weight nerf on uh on uh, oh baby. nah no no it's good from the ground but, oh but that one didn't look like it was yeah. gonna knock out hey man sometimes ooh sometimes attacks just don't be looking correct ooh nice I like that I like that I like how everything just connects that's a whole like yep. confirm it there it's uh, it's not easy to to hit down attacks on Chavo especially down attack one because yeah. uh, a that was my favorite button before they uh, took away the ability to combo into itself. Yeah. And so I used to do it way too much. And B, <laughs> uh, Zoo uses that out of smoke a lot. So Chavo's kind of like on defense against that. I'm, I'm... There it goes. Sorry. <laughs> I'm over here flabbergasted. I'm going to... Sorry, I had to. You are you are banned from casting for a week. <laughs> no, bro. It's not fair, bro. <laughs> You got. We need new words, but uh, right now Paradox ha is doing one thing and one thing only. That is beating down the stock. Mm -hmm. He has pushed him all the way up to 121. Oh, gonna nice to dodge. He so they were both heading towards the left, so he dodged. Though that was a really good dodge. But you can't jump too high into the void because no. then you like SD and you don't want to do that. Bro. Yep. It's, I mean, Batman will make you do it too. It, it, yes, it, I agree. It, yes, bewildered. That's a good one. I like that. Bewildered. Oh, no, that was got butter. Oh, There's Clapo! Clapo. All right, what well, is that, seven? I think, no, I think we're up to eight or nine now. Chat, chat, uh, you are in, you, y'all were in charge of keeping the counter. That dare is going to take it off the top. But, uh, I, Clapo, oh, eight, right? Eight. Yeah, 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 we're on, we're on number eight. Someone said five. <laughs> Ooh. I, yeah, that's what, something I need to see, like, more of Chavo doing because I feel like it connects everything into his attacks. His side B into, like, Sierra 1 and Sierra 2. Mm -hmm. Like, every time he hits those in the air, too, it, like, ooh. Like wait, oh. oh, he's getting way more aggressive with his advantage. And dude, Paradox's recovery game is smart. It's so good. The way he plays, like, too, like he refuses. Nice he literally patient, refuses unless off. it's a combo to get hit by down attack. I'm loving it. No McDonald's. Got it for him. Shoot it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yo, that up air though. Hey. <laughs> All right, <laughs> <laughs> but double uppercuts coming through. Won't be able to uh, get the knockout. Stop neutral attack, of course. That delay again. Bro, and see, the way that time Chavo finally waited for it though. I'm bro. Ooh, the battering coming to play. See, that's what I was talking about. How he'll throw it and then go in, and it's gonna come back and just bite him and sandwich him. Yeah, uh, yeah he, the, I, Chavo using that gem to get out of disadvantage, and he's at Clapo ranges again. So uh, Paradox has to be very careful about when he tries to find his landing. Goes for the slide cancel tech and gets Ooh. back on. Now the bat bombs in play. All right, he uh, at least gets the trade off, but Paradox uh, now has him. I, 
pretty much. I think a dare might do it because it's unchecked, but that rounded uppercut is gonna take it. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> Both really good players watching this. this. Is, I'm still amazed by um Paradox's recovery. Like he Never plays it like patient and like I, he just declines all your attacks whatsoever. I love when we get to see players come out and they've been hyped up or they've been built up in some way, right? You have to perform when you get here, though. You have to be able to prove that, that you, you are yes. what everybody's been hyping you up mm -hmm. to. Paradox has done that ten times over. Nice. Bans did it today, proving that uh, his skill level today. And uh, it just keeps happening with people. Gopo last time, and it's just awesome to see. Uh, another person earlier, uh, the, what was his name? Um, Streamline showing up today. We didn't even know who he was. And uh, he put he put he in some well. work. Yeah. So it's it's just that that thing every week. Every week there's a new threat. There's a new person challenging the throne here uh, to try and get the dub. And Paradox is two games away from trying to take one himself for the first time he's shown up. I'm glad the whole up B right there. Ooh, and already. 80 damage knockout. chavo has been very elusive of those for a bit now, but he takes it. Already, man. That's actually insane. I'm glad that I was gonna say I'm glad the upbeat fully went through before the bad bomb exploded, but it didn't work in his favor. No, no. But still, yeah. Here's here's that very scary part again. Paradox in his innate ability to build up a two. <gasps> Yo! That was a clean. He used the yeah. active hitbox of the apple toss to try and combo off it. He didn't get the ground. He didn't get to the ground fast enough. But I really like that idea. That was clean. This is Paradox, of course, up 71 damage in a uh, about to overlap him in damage. Jab doesn't jab. I, I thought he would do jab, wait for it, and do op attack. But again, he's just not. I, th I think he's just not used to do, trying to do that yet. I'm still like, he's been doing like a, a side attacks and to the side B. But I'm still like, how does Gopo do the side attack into a dare? You literally have to wait till the end of the animation and then go and then for it. Like, it's rush. like last second. Clapo number Clap nine. nine. We'll not, not going to do that it. One, that, that one will not kill this Damn. time, though. It's okay, though. And, okay, got around the side attack. I like nice the idea of the grapple, yeah. I, yeah, I like the idea of it because if you catch him dodging, that'll take him. But down it, down it finds it. But Paradox has already lined up a grounded uppercut, essentially for a knockout. Or, or oh, fully charged one. Yep, that one's fully charged too, man. That second steer sent him flying. Shabo's gonna have to be forced to try and find a, yeah. an early knockout himself. You can see how he tried to go for one over there. I'm saying over there, like. Like, if they see me <laughs> okay. pointing, like... Yeah, well, over to the right. Over there, guys. Nobody, <laughs> y'all know. Oh, Ooh, wait. Nah. Yeah, he didn't have enough resources to keep it yeah. going, but that's still, like, that puts some fear in you. I, have a, I mean, Paradox kind of plays without fear. Like, it's actually kind of crazy. There's the battering plus the bat bomb, too. Is he going to... Yep, he's going to follow up off of it. He got out of it, though. Chavo getting out of it. Very clean. He's been doing good getting out of the little conversions, though. <sighs> He wanted to dodge down. He wa he wanted that dodge down in the right from Paradox, but Paradox has been pretty calm, uh, not falling for those. That's mm -hmm. like been a really consistent thing I've noticed from him too. The and bat bomb, bat bomb breaks him up from nice. being able to push anything further. But here it is, Paradox trying to potentially get a two stock here. Ooh. Oh, he, I like it. He made the he attempt. TP'd, yeah. He's Instead right. of trying to go for a kill, he just had to get out of there. Yeah, and for Paradox, if you weren't, re I mean, there it's gonna still get the two stock, but for Paradox at that point, it's like, hey, I can just chase anyways. Mm -hmm. So. Paradox trying to get Multiverse Mayhem number nine. Also be the second player to this win on keyboard here. Over. I need you and No Cash not to show up on the same day. So we don't have to set up keyboards on the same setup. Please don't do that. All right, so two to one in favor of Paradox. Paradox has only given up a few games today. And can he finish it right now? We're going to find out. Paradox up 2-1 against Chavo. Chavo on the loose side of bracket with the Fern. Can he finish it? Uh, the game won. He ha he like he was able to bring it back. He proved. But he proved he could do it. The thing is, is that Paradox, dude, Paradox's ability to build a lead is just so yeah. good. Like, it, he's he's so every he everything he does has a calculated choice behind it. Like his risk reward management is really high. That's been the most impressive part of what I've been watching. Ooh, ooh, Except for right there. Ooh, Except for right no there. Way. Except for right there. <laughs> no way. The risk management was a little bit too low I as Chavo takes, uh, takes him out off the uh, bottom with the dare. I cannot believe that that actually went through. 
But Dude, that Ubby's gonna take that his though. His option coverage. He burned all his resources too, he just did. to make sure he got Chavo to go high to get the uppercut. He did do good though. Now they're tied up right now, so this is really good in Chavo's favor though. I'm I'm glad that 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 happened because now he's. <sighs> Ooh, he did have a lot of yep. uh, coins in there too. It's actually like ridiculous. Oh, Bat Bomb is applied. Now that's gonna break up his combo. Yeah, but he did break the battering on his way back down. He stopped him from grabbing it, so he does have a moment to push. However, he's deep off stage. I like the roll cancel yeah. off to try and make it attempt that dare. I feel like if he didn't up it right there, he probably would have like died to void. <sighs> nice. Ooh, dude, he's in there so fast. Battering was still active. Oh, yeah, like, see, I that's the thing, bro. He throws it away so it can just circle around him. Like if he's like, I don't, I don't like. I don't know. It just circles around him. Yeah, his his, got a force field. his battering management has oh, been ready. really good. Again, it's like uh, Chow, uh, Zoo will use it where he kind of approaches overwards, but Paradox will use it as a I'm preventing you. Like yeah, right let's there, see again, how it just comes back. He he keeps himself safe every time he go like he goes in with that. But this much different compared to before because of that early spike to Koa. Um, Paradox might um, he might find this knockout first, but this is with Chavo having him at least at 138. Mm -hmm. That's really, which is really good in Chavo's favor. And then again, look, Chavo finding the Elam first. All right, up attack comes through. Of course, is uh, up, one uppercut away from a knockout. So Chavo uh, on borrow time, you pretty much just kind of go for the trades. Like, look, let me just push. It, no oh, way. He almost had it. Ooh. That just missed. Every time I think about Chavo being down there, I think of his his nair into dare. Like, every time he does that, it's clean. But that, was that, up B? Yeah, another up special. Get to get the uppercut off the top. Uh, th at that point, it's just like, he's above me, so I'm going to swing. Mm -hmm. And might as well. But look at that. that. That keyboard tech, by the way, that's pretty easy to do short hop side air one and stay that close to the ground to float in. It's not as easy to do on controller. But there's that battering again. He kept it behind him. And these upper ones are kind of just continuously anti-airing Chavo. There's the battering coming back from the back of him just to get a hit on, even though Ooh, oh, I'm surprised the that, yeah. The last second teleport gets him back down, but he does not have a gem on the ground right now. He's going to try and get down there, gets away, but Bat Bomb is applied once again. This could be the end of it the all. Good. Got a, yes, nice dodge. Beautiful dodge. The, the, the timing on that is very difficult. I like the idea of Chavo going for a set to a day right there. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm actually glad you caught that too, uh, but the, like, he can't find much off the... <gasps> the Clapples... Oh, oh, it was only at 88. It's not going to be enough. He's broke, though, I like right the now. attempt, though. Like, yeah, like you said, he's broke, so he cannot teleport past here. The Apple gets in the way. Ooh, oh, nice, dodge out. beautiful dodge. Now Paradox is just kind of swinging at this point, hoping to get the knockout on a straight hit. He got to use this gem. That's to his advantage right now. Very both high percentage that from both of these players right now. Crazy timing on that. Uppercut won't be enough just yet, but one more. He oh, does not, he does I'm not commit. I'm surprised he didn't. That bomb he's is applied. Oh, oh, he tries to challenge. I'm actually surprised. Yeah, I'm. <sighs> nah, he's chilling. Apple in the way. <gasps> he nice dodge. Again. Dare will do it, Damn. though. And that's going to be Paradox taking it. And he takes out Chavo 3 to 1. Shimber me Timbers. I'm at the edge of my seat I'm right now, you man. You are not allowed to cast next bro, week. <laughs> why, bro, why, like... bro? I'm going to train you out of these terrible bro, catchphrases. Bro, you... but, bro well, the chat got my well back. Well done. Bro. Well done from, Round of applause. Uh, from Paradox. Coming in here for the first time uh, he's ever been here. And, and Jeff, <laughs> Jeff coming back here and saying my brother won. Nah, bro. <laughs> and Paradox takes it uh three one and gets the dub yet yeah, doesn't matter whether zoo is here or not a batman takes a batman it out gonna over take home it. bro ban batman bro no, no <laughs> batman's what, are no, carrying but also it's finn and batman yeah finn and batman always it's always it's almost always been batman it was close to rick and it was close to uh to lebron tonight but paradox takes it out again those two are related but um oh. well done no oh, yeah it's actually ridiculously uh insane to watch someone come out for the first time and get the dub like that. Played very well all tournament. Had a couple times we had some close calls, but with Sage and Bands, he got that through it. That was intense. Really well played overall. But that's going to be... take those clapos as wins, though. Yeah, I think you're up to eight nine. Clapos. Or, I think you're up to Can't nine or eight. ten, but two of them didn't kill. Yo, look what that guy said. <laughs> look what that guy said. No. What do you mean no, bro? No. <laughs> Anyways, that is, uh, let me go ahead and Jeff give y'all your uh, prediction points. Who did I vote for? It's going to go to uh, oh, nobody. Paradox that takes it out. Good job. And well done.